I'd like for everybody who has been coming to the convocation for more than 50 years to please stand. You've been coming to the convocation more than 50 years. All over the world, just stand. Let's give these 50 year veterans a rise in applause. I'm one of those 50 year veterans. Those who've been coming to the convocation remain standing for more than 40 years. Would you please stand? More than 40 years. All over the room. And if you've been coming for more than 30 years, would you please stand? <laughs> more than 30 years, you must love. Look at your neighbor who's standing and say, you must love this church of God in Christ. More than 20 years, more than 20 years, please stand. Hallelujah. More than 10 years. Well, 10 years or less, would you just stand all over the room, oh, yeah. shake hands with three people and tell them, I'm glad to be a member of the church of God in Christ. Glad to be a member of the church of God in Christ. Let's clap our hands and praise God for our founding fathers, Bishop Mason, Bishop Jones, Bishop J.O. Patterson, Bishop Ford, Let's clap our hands for our former leaders. Hallelujah. Whatever we experience on tonight, it came through them. Whatever we enjoy, it's because of their labor. Whatever we are blessed to experience, it's because of their sacrifice. Come on, let's give all generations that have gone before us a rousing applause. Oh, you, oh, you can, can do, do better than that. Let's give our former leaders, our former supervisors of men and women, a rousing applause. Please be seated. Please be seated. What a joy it is to be in the house of the Lord on this night. And the power of the Lord is so present. The anointing of God is in the room. Would to God we could have just shouted all night long. But there are things that we must do on tonight. And we've got a preacher. If you don't shout when he gets through preaching, then maybe you slept through the message on tonight. Because we're expecting something great from God on tonight. Would you utter that faith utterance to your neighbor? We're expecting something great from God on tonight. We want to honor all the members of the general board, especially our first and second assistant presiding bishops, Bishop Brooks and Bishop Macklin. We honor each member of the general board, Bishop Haynes, who is presiding on tonight. Could we give all of them a rousing applause and thank God for them. We also want to honor our host bishops, Bishop Ward and Bishop Wooten and Bishop Scott here in the city of St. Louis, this civic night has literally been just beyond belief and so very, very exciting. And look out and see Bishop Jacob Coyne, who lost his wife just a few weeks ago, a few days ago. And we want just to let him know we love him and we are praying for him. May God bless you. Let's give Bishop Coyne a rousing applause. <laughs> International Supervisor, Mother Willie Mae Rivers. My First Lady and the First Lady of the Church, Sister May, Lady May Blake, let's praise God for her. All the officers and officials of the church, I just want to pause to share a few words with you on tonight, and then we're going to move on into the other parts of our worship service. I say, number one, thank you for all the wonderful honors and tributes and plaques and baseballs and trophies and everything that was given to me on tonight. And you know, I understand and will always understand and have always understood that whatever I receive, I receive it on behalf of the organization that I'm a part of. And I know that all of these people would not be bringing these trophies and staffs and uh, plaques to me as an individual if I was not a part of you. And so they give them to me as, as your presiding bishop, 
I'll be your presiding bishop a few years, but don't you know if we've had six presiding bishops and senior bishops before my rise to this wonderful office, then pretty soon it's going to be your eighth and your ninth presiding bishop that you're recognizing, and I'll be going on into destiny. But while I'm here, I'm here, but I realize that I'm just a part of the flow, a part of the stream, a part of the succession in the life of the church. And so I humbly receive every honor only because I, I realize that it is for really you. You are the ones that they're honoring and showing respect because you're the ones who have made the church of God in Christ whatever the church of God in Christ is. And so would you give yourselves a rousing applause. <laughs> and what a great welcome the city of St. Louis has given to us. Could we praise God for the city of St. Louis? It was 29 years ago, I understand, according to the word of Bishop Ward, that the General Assembly of the Church of God in Christ voted to move the convocation to the city of St. Louis 29 years ago. But something happened and the move was not made. I suppose they received a promise or two from Memphis and they decided to remain there for a while. But 29 years ago, the vote was taken and the decision was made to move it to the city of St. Louis. And so in reality, we're about 29 years late getting here. But nevertheless, we're here just the same. Time and time again, we've discussed with the city of Memphis the possibility that we might be leaving the city of Memphis for a time so that we could improve our relationship and enhance uh, the agreements that characterized our time in the city of Memphis, Tennessee. I remember as a young minister, the general board asked me to get up, make the motion that we move the church, the, 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 the convocation out of the city of Memphis and obediently I got up and made the motion and the General Assembly responded and then they went back into the negotiating room and negotiated a different agreement that enabled us to stay in the city of Memphis and so we remained there. But after so many threats and so many indications that we were going, we said to Memphis, we're going to leave and Memphis said, so? So? <laughs> And ultimately, four different venues on Sunday morning, trying to have church together with closed circuit television and technology. We just felt that not able to find ample housing and accommodations, only nine hotels in the city of Memphis would agree to allow us to block out their hotels for the convocation all kinds of conditions that were negative and unsatisfactory. Many of them were not really the fault of the ability of the leaders of Memphis to make a decision. They simply could not provide the kind of accommodations that a growing church like ours really required. And so finally the decision was made by the general board and the leaders of the church and the general assembly that we would come away from the city of Memphis just for a time to renegotiate our relationships, to give Memphis a little time to bring in more accommodations and facilities that would meet our needs and that would accommodate us. And you know, the Bible says that in, in some cities, you're not going to be well received. Or, and at that time, when you're not uh, received, then, then go on somewhere else for a while and maybe at a later time you'll be able to come back and be blessed and to enjoy uh, the uh, blessings and, and the joy of that particular city. But listen, I don't know when a city has ever welcomed any convention of the Church of God in Christ the way these civic leaders have welcomed us on tonight. Come on, let's give them a rousing applause. Brother Macmillan is still here. Brother Sam is also, Brother Samuel Moore is still here. Come on, let's give them a rousing applause and express appreciation for them. But would you look over at your neighbor? There are some folk who don't think the Holy Ghost can move in St. Louis like he moves in Memphis. 
I said, there are some people who just don't feel that the Lord will anoint us and bless us in St. Louis like he's blessed us in St. Louis. But would you tell your neighbor, my God is the God of the universe. Mm -hmm. Let me just look in the gospel of John, the gospel of John. Mm -hmm. In the chapter four and verse 20, the Samaritan woman said to Jesus, our fathers worshiped on this mountain. But you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. But Jesus said to her, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. The hour is coming and now is, verse 23, when the true worshipers are there any true worshipers? Will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is a spirit. Say it after me. God is a spirit. And those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. And the Bible says the Father is seeking such to worship Him. Are there any worshipers in the house? Is there anybody here that feels like praising God? How many of you believe that right up here in St. Louis, the Holy Ghost can move in a mighty way? Clap your hands and give praise to God. Come on, help me praise Him. Hallelujah. You're in the city of Memphis for 102 years. And we were able to minister to and preach to and sing to Memphis. And after 102 years of preaching to Memphis and singing to Memphis, I feel like another city deserves that same benefit. I feel like another city needs to hear the gospel. I don't know where the Lord will carry us, but I know that wherever he carries us, we will go proclaiming the word of God. There was a time when the church got scattered and the Bible says that they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word of the Lord. And so let's preach the word of the Lord. Let's share the word of the Lord wherever we go and be sure that the name of God is glorified and the name of God is praised. And so while we're here, we're not going to fuss and complain about not being here or being, not being there, but we're going to praise God right here. Would you tell four people, let's praise him right here. Let's praise him right here. Clap your hands and give praise to God. I would have loved to stay there. But circumstances develop where we have to go and be here for a while. And we don't know where the Lord is going to lead us, but wherever he leads us, he'll be there before we get there. But you tell two people, he'll be there before we get there. Are you all all right? Is the church all right? Are the people of the Lord all right? This is God's church. We are God's people. And we're on God's agenda. Look at your neighbor and say, this is God's church. We are God's people. And we're on the Lord's agenda. Give him one more praise. And thank God for his goodness. 